Lulu, and welcome to Judson Sunday Arts, where kids of all ages can make art that matters. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and for those of you joining us who are blind or have low vision, I'm a white 34-year-old woman with short, dark blonde hair. I'm wearing a bright orange tank top, and there's a big bookcase behind me with books and other things on it, and art on the walls. Happy Disability Pride Month, everyone! This month, we're highlighting artists with disabilities, and today, we are writing rap songs. You will need something to write on and something to write with. You can write these by hand or digitally, whatever works for you. Andy's off for the rest of the summer, so this is a standalone activity. And today, we're going to highlight art by Wheelchair Sports Camp, which is fronted by Kaylin Heffernan, who, according to the band's website linked below, is a wheelchair-using, rap-heavy, beat-making, freedom-fighting producer, educator, foul-mouthed, queer rebel rouser. I have a picture of Kaylin next to me, and in it, she's sitting in a blue and black manual wheelchair with gray wheels. She's wearing a black Adidas track suit, black track pants, black Converse sneakers, a black bowler hat, and a white t-shirt with black writing on it. She has on a thick, gold rope chain necklace and a VIP pass. She's looking at the camera from the side with attitude, with her left hand posed in front of her and her right hand on the wheel of her chair. She is white, has straight blonde hair, a lip ring, and a septum piercing, and her nails are painted red. She sits in front of a white backdrop. Kaylin was born with a disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta, which is also known as brittle bone disease. And she's a dope, dope, dope rapper. We're going to watch one of her videos called Yes, I'm a Mess. We'll see Kaylin in lots of different costumes, in and out of bed, sometimes wearing a white hazmat suit, along with other members of her band who wear gas masks. Apologies that the video isn't fully described for blind folks or people that have low vision, but there are disembodied hands in the video that sign the song in ASL for deaf viewers. It's a wild ride. Let's take a look.
snaps. What did you notice in this video? One thing that stands out to me is how sarcastic Kaylin is about the privilege some people have to tune the world out and avoid the problems that exist. Did you notice anything about the words she uses? One of my favorite things about rap and hip hop music and also poetry is wordplay. In this song, I notice repetition and how well Kaylin strings words together with similar sounds. She uses tons of rhyme, assonance, and alliteration. Rhyme means that the ends of words sound the same. Like when Kaylin says, so I hereby declare independence from all your amendments, the words independence and amendments rhyme. Technically, that's a slant rhyme because it's not exactly the same sound, but it's close enough. Assonance means when words have the same vowel sounds. When Kaylin says, I'm drowning in my tears and fear the end is here, tears, fear, and here all have the same E vowel sound. Alliteration means when words close together have the same first letter. When Kaylin says, but I got out of bed so it can't be that bad, four of those words start with B, and it's fun to hear and fun to say. Where else do you notice rhyme, assonance, and alliteration in Yes, I'm a Mess? How can we use wordplay to write our own rap songs? That's right, it's art making time. Today we're writing rap songs with wordplay. Start by thinking of a story you want to tell with a rap. Lots of rap songs are about overcoming hard times, and maybe you have a story like that to share too. Or maybe it's just a story for fun. Write all your ideas down and craft it into a rap song by using rhyme, assonance, and alliteration to make your story interesting for the listener and super fun to say. If you're feeling really brave, Share your rap with someone you trust. You could spend five minutes or a whole week writing a rap with wordplay. If you love what you made, send it to me so I can feature it on another edition of Judson Sunday Arts. Be safe, wear your masks, happy art making, and happy Disability Pride Month friends.